What's going on guys, your boy Mason, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, I'm going to be going over the activity points and orders for the knighthood, and I'm going to be making the complete guide here on how to actually get the activity points, and how to clear the missions, and how to go about exchanging them for rewards, so let's hop into the video. Before we actually hop into the video, make sure to subscribe to your boy Amazing. We are on the road to the 40,000 subscribers. If you guys have been enjoying the content lately with the anniversary and all that, definitely make sure to subscribe. Uh, pull, turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss out on any videos. And with that out of the way, man, let's hop in and go over the Knighthood Order system that came out during the fourth year anniversary. So this uh, like little system here, guys, is going to be available forever now. It's just a reoccurring event. And the way it works is that if you're in a knighthood, right? So this is my main guild on my global account. If you are in a knighthood, um, you and your uh, knighthood members are going to be able to clear missions to actually get some little activity points and some guild coins as well. So you actually do get some knighthood coins right there. You actually get a really good amount. You get 500, it looks like 200 from here and then uh, 300 from there. And this is going to be a weekly reset um, occurrence, right? So the way it's going to work, guys, is that you're going to see your missions right here, and it's going to tell you care, uh, people in your guild that can do those missions, um, but you can also do them as well. So I did actually, I did not actually know this going into it, but you can actually do these missions, and it's not that you have to rely on your, you know, your guildmates to do it. You can do it yourself, right? So I can cook 10 meals right here to clear the mission. I can uh, acquire um, affection uh, by serving Vanya Ale at the table. I can do that. Um, use two supporting heroes, um, clear by using recovery skill, and then clear boss battle, right? So those are going to be my missions and these missions are going to be random throughout the event um, or throughout the uh the period that you're in and uh, you're just going to be getting 2,000 activity points per clear right so if you guys want to actually exchange your activity points you're going to want to go to the knighthood itself so when we actually go to the knighthood we can see what actual rewards we're able to get um for the activity points so you know loading in here we're just going to wait till it loads <laughs> takes a minute to load i guess um but we load in here guys and what you want to do is you want to go over to this girl over here with the boxes right um so it's going to be kind of like pokemon where like when you click on the boxes right um you're going to see a little like it's going to pop up it's going to show you the rewards you back out you go to the next one and then you go to the next one right so now let's kind of talk about which one's going to be worthwhile remember that these do cost a different amount of act uh, of activity points and you're only going to be able to get 10k a week right so if you're only able to get 10k a week which one is going to be the best one to exchange for so the first one right here is going to be giving you guaranteed rewards and then these are going to be the, the additional rewards of um so the guaranteed rewards going to be an ssr pendant five skip tickets two six star enhanced potions and then the ur chest right there so this is guaranteed guys you're going to be getting and then the additional rewards here have the percent of actually picking them up as you open the box right and then it says that you can acquire one of the following items according to the set rate so you only get one of these items as well um as you are opening this box so that's going to be the first box right there for the second box right here um the guaranteed reward is going to be um 30 of the attack uh cosmetic upgrade the hp cosmetic upgrade and the defense cosmetic upgrade upgrade and you're going to be getting two ur chests right there now another thing to take into account too is that since you're using twenty thousand now it actually says acquire two of the following items according to the race so now you have a um two at a you know two chances to actually get these five diamonds or two chances to get these uh you know sa coins um ssr pennants and i don't know if the rewards actually change do they um that's three right there i think they stay the same on the like additional rewards but the main rewards are always different right and you also can get more of the secondary reward right so there you go and then for the third one guys you're going to be able to acquire three of the following items according to the rates um which is going to be obviously the same as the other ones but for the guaranteed rewards here you get 10 engraving stones five hammers three six star uh blue stones and then you get four ur chests so overall this is actually a really good um like box right here and this one as well i think these two are going to be the best boxes in terms of like the end game type of players um if you're like a newer player i think this one's probably going to be the best one um because you're getting engraving stones you're getting hammers you get uh six star blue stones which is really good for making ur gear early on so that's going to be super important and you get the fact that you're able to get three of the additional reward which could definitely help your account imagine like you know on 100 anvils or getting like um you know a, a gear piece right like this is a uh, automatic gear this is three uh sa coins right and you get three of the following items right so you have a pretty good chance of getting some extra stuff right um so what i would say to do is if you're a newer player um getting to like end game area and you need ur gear and all that and you're kind of building out your box in terms of your gear this is definitely the one you get because these guaranteed rewards are going to be uh catered around building gear now the second one right here is going to be catered around you know character cosmetics and cosmetic upgrade drops are 
not too hard um, or uh, not too easy to come by, I mean, right? Because um, you're only really going to be getting them through events and then also through doing like deathmatch, right? So this one is probably going to be the best one, best bang for your buck. Also, it's going to be every two weeks, whereas this one is every three weeks because you only get 10k activity points a week, guys. Remember, right? So every two weeks, you can open this box, whereas every three weeks, you're going to be able to open this box, right? Um, one thing to take into account as well is that this box, since it is only 10k, you can pretty much open this every single week, which for a player playing the game, I don't even think this is worth it because one SSR pendant would be like the only valuable thing out of this, uh, you know, lineup here. Whereas if we're going to the other ones right here, like the middle one, giving the 30 of each is really, really good because that means that's a max out of one full UR set for a character. You can completely max out the outfit uh, slots for them which is really good, right? So yeah, guys, this is pretty much what I'd recommend for the general player that's at end game. I would definitely do the middle one for a player that's kind of getting to around the end game type of area or like mid game. Um, and you do need a ton of like, you know, engraving stones and like gear, uh, you know, uh, increases, right? So like the six star stones, you definitely want to get the, uh, the level three box. Um, but for the, for the general players, you're really pretty much going to always be skipping the first one. You're always going to be going for the second or the third one. So that's what I'd recommend, right? there now let's actually see how it works when we actually open up the box guys because this is the first time i've actually tested it out so let's open this box right here and let's claim all these rewards and let's see if we're able to get any gems or anything like that so let's open this up boom so there we go guys so we got the guaranteed reward and then we got the additional reward as well being the five star uh, tier selector and then we also did get 20 og demon energy which is actually pretty good that's actually not too bad Right, so you're gonna be able to do this, uh, guys, every two weeks for this one right here, every three weeks for this one, and then every uh, every week, pretty much for this one right there. So that pretty much covers the activity points right there, guys, and how you're actually able to acquire them. Let's actually go back to the tavern now, and I can show you guys again what the uh, screen looks like. But that's pretty much it for the system, right? You want to make sure you're picking the second box, and you want to make sure you're also doing all your activities every single week, so you can get the 10k every single week to be able to exchange in the activity shop. Um, uh, bearing in mind that you also do get 200 uh you know coins right there and then you also get 300 right there as well which is really really good man considering that you're able to get an extra 500 for the regular exchange shop in the guild so um that's pretty much it guys for the video i hope you guys enjoyed this is the guide pretty much on uh, what you guys want to be doing for the knighthood coins and all and the uh and the activity um so i hope this was helpful guys and then obviously you could take those coins now and go to the exchange shop here and buy all the other stuff that you want um but yeah man really good system that they added with the anniversary i do like it and it's going to be a permanent thing in the game now guys so every single week this is going to be a permanent thing and you can actually use it to exchange for some you know rewards in the activity exchange right there so um i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe as always if you guys want to see more videos like this definitely let me know in the comment section below and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace out and have a great rest of your day